Hello and welcome to the small tutorial of how to use uh, the serials module of Koha. Now this is a list of journals we have from one of our users. Uh, we will be using the India Today uh, magazine which is a weekly magazine to demonstrate how we can use, uh, use the serials module of Koha. Uh, in this case the user is having a subscription from Jan to December. Okay, So let's switch to Koha and see how we can do this. Now the first thing we need to do is let's uh, let's just quickly this is a demo demo module uh, so this is a demo instance let's search whether we have the journal there no nothing's found no result found we do not have it so we go back again and let us create a very small brief uh, cataloging record for go uh, for India today now we had imported the serials framework we can use this it's going to be a very minimally uh, designed framework so first of all this India Today magazine is uh, published by Living Media okay so you're going to add that as a corporate name since it's a corporate body so let us click here on the authority control uh, just to be safe this is what we should always do even though we know there's nothing in this database right now uh, so let us do living uh, it will say no results found this it says no results found of course because we do not have anything there yet so let us create our authority record the corporate body uh, so here we go corporate heading and corporate name or jurisdiction name so we will add living media now if you try to save this it will say there are quite a few things that are not filled in so we'll just see they're all in the tab zero they're all highlighted in zero, uh, in yellow so we're just going to for now click through and here we will just enter this that's it and we just click through and let us click on save and there we have it our bibliographic record as you can see is add biblio uh, this has been imported as the first now let's just add the title India today okay uh, also while we are at it let's define this as a continuing resource all journals or magazines should all be classified as continuing resource this is what you should always use and uh, if you try to save this again it says so and so and so and so are not filled in so let's look into that and let's do that okay now here is the first field we need to do something here um, normally we just click through and escape but this is a uh, serial so instead of n a m it will become n a s okay and when it's just okay and date of time transaction which is fixed field now if you look at here if you look at the tag editor we'll see instead of bks books that we are accustomed it is a cr containing resource okay so Koha knows that we are cataloging a serial and not a regular book. Now, transcribing agency, since uh, I am doing it, so I'll put in L2C2 Technologies, the code for L2C2 Technologies by Library of Congress, in called, and try and save this. Let's see if it allows us. Yeah, so we have saved. Now, usually at this point uh, in a normal regular cataloging we enter the barcode or the accession number and other details uh, we're not going to do that here so let's just click on normal and see where we go so it says no physical items for this record wonderful and also note something material type it's showing let's a folded up newspaper it's a continuing resource it is doesn't show the book icon anymore this is because in the leader we have chosen that it is nas remember that nas instead of the nam this is why our icon is also also different here okay now here we will click on new subscription okay 
now subscription is a, a subscription of meaning that we are always looking at the current up to date subscription that we will will tackle the current subscription now if you are using the acquisitions module you you are expected to link the vendor here now, we are not using the acquisitions module because purchasing is done differently here so we'll just leave that alone and it's already pre-selected india today the record is already selected now on this point now if by this is chosen by default because most libraries they just don't allow you to lend uh, the journals or magazines but then again some do some do also uh, people who don't lend uh, they don't often add an accession number and what they usually do is that later on while they are uh, well they, when the when the year is over they just club all those loose uh, loose issues together into a bound volume and give a specific uh, accession number to that bound volume instead of giving accession numbers to each and every copy that is received uh, this is this being a weekly we are looking at at least 52 uh, issues in a year now some peer, some or uh, some libraries they do choose to give an accession number to each and every single copy it's up to how you do it at your library in our case uh, the user actually gives an accession number so we will click create an item record when receiving the serial okay uh, we will keep uh, keep issue number when there's an irregular issue keep issue number we'll also turn on manual history call number call number we are using j for journal and ind for india today a short of I, I, india today now in the library we have to select which library it belongs to we have only one library in this demo instance so we we'll select the demo library branch if you have more than one library and if one of the specific library branches is subscribing to this journal then select that instead of our single library default okay now location now here we have not uh, identified any other uh, any other location like let's say you know, journal section or periodical stack or anything so we're going to put it in general stacks for just for the example but in your case you can put it exactly where you actually store your journals okay now again item type make sure you don't select books but you select continuing resource okay so continuing resource grace period again does not have any sense because we did not enter any vendor if we had entered any vendor and if we were actually doing uh, electronic uh, data processing with our vendors and koha could actually shoot out a uh, automatic email to the vendor if the issue was due beyond a certain number of days let's say it's supposed to be published on let's say 4th of march if the book does if the issue does not arrive still at let's say 15th of march then maybe then the system if you have configured it like that uh, it would have shot out an email automatically after the grace period was over now we are not doing that here so we will ignore that for a moment number of issues to display to the staff uh, we will keep this as 24 for the staff and uh, this is uh, for the users we will keep it at 12 so last 12 issues and last 12 issues for the staff remember you can make these two values uh, whatever you want but uh, the thing to remember here is that higher you make this value a more a resource hunger it becomes in the system uh, slower your system is going to be as you load more and more uh, journals into the system okay so uh, this is somewhere you need to uh, apply your mind and figure out what's what works best for you so next we click on next now when you when you click on next this pop-up comes and says if you wish to claim later missing issues you must link the subscription to a vendor this we have already this is just what we already discussed that we are not going uh, we're not doing an automated email to the vendor so we're going to ignore this and so we click on ok and here we are now this is where the things get a little more critical uh, now the first publication issue now for the for this example that we are doing we we had discussed that uh, they have taken a subscription from january okay now this magazine india today is published on on every monday so if you look at the calendar it's march now let's look at january the first issue of this 2019 would have been on 7th of uh, january 2019 okay so we know that and with that information and our subscription will be starting from 1st of january so with that information in mind 
let us go back to our koha so the first issue publication date for this subscription would be would be 7th jan 2019 now frequency since it's a weekly magazine uh it is once a week once a week uh duration of our subscription length will be 12 months and subscription start date will be again remember what we already discussed with the calendar that is first of jan uh, 9, 2019 and end we will add is 31st of december 2019 right now numbering pattern there this is here where this is this is where things get slightly tricky why do i say slightly tricky it's because if you look at any of the current uh, issues you'll see here this is this is where uh, they put their number now this number is in a month a short month the day of the month the num the number of day of the month and the year so they have a mmm dd -Y 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 format that's what's mentioned here right right here that's that's where they put in the this this is this is this is exactly what is what is put in this is exactly what is put in over there for each uh, each of the issue now uh, so that parameter this numbering parameter we can actually generate our own but uh, because the middle number is the number of days and that is not even for all the months we cannot uh, do exactly like that so we're going to use something as a standby and show you exactly how then we can use this so numbering we suggest number and uh, local we don't need to do anything because we are using english and so begin with number one and item counter is one so which basically means that it we will start with number one issue this this is the first this is the first issue of 2000 uh, of 2019 so the first it, that the account should begin as the first issue of 2019 uh, from 7th uh, of January and this should be incremented uh, one at a time okay now we let us test our prediction pattern let's see if we have got it yeah so now uh, so the first issue is on 7th of Jan the second issue is on 14th the third on 24th the fourth on 29th 28th the fifth issue will be on 4th of February so that way we have uh, on 4th of March is issue number nine Issue number nine, fourth of March. Okay, so if you look here, the last one was February twenty fifth. So February twenty fifth is the uh, February twenty fifth. Yes. So fourth, this is February twenty fifth. So our numbering patterns seems to be correct. So there we have it, because it's twelve months. So. Uh, this whether whether this is not this this may uh, this probably won't coming coming in but uh, so 12 months from the date of subscription that's how it comes through okay so that many number of issues we should be receiving so either it is 52 or it will be 53 issues okay now let us save the subscription and actually see how we can use this see how we can use this okay uh, all right now it will show show us that uh, the first arrival is this number of months is 12 issues it shows number one the first issue is this it's published date and it is expected now this is how we add them let's say this is now the ninth issue we have received already five issues the rest we are yet to receive so let's add this five issues let's see how we do now here because this uh, because we need to use this numbering pattern which koha cannot do what we're going to do is while you saving it we will just do something like this jan 07 2019 right now this expected on this instead of expected we called it right that we have received this and we said we are going to add an item so uh let us add our accession number so let's call this thousand uh, you will be of course using your own uh, accessioning series number so don't follow it blindly mm. and save it and save it so as you see 
here it uh, it already says that this is arrived this is arrived because we just updated it now it is showing on this date uh, now we can just uh, what we can do is edit serials you can click on edit serials number two issue number two now again we just do Jan 14 2019 turned it to arrived add our accession number save it save it so so the moment we arrive we add one that's arrived the next one automatically pops in in here so this is now expected again we can just edit uh, this so here we will just say Jan 21st 2019 and save oops we made a mistake we, we didn't change it to expected so we need to edit this so this is still expected this is we wanted to say arrive so we say edit serials edit serials and we change this to arrived the moment we say arrived the so the holdings is opened we're going to add in the accession number and save it there we see three issues have been received the fourth one is expected now before we do anything let's see what does Koha Stuff Clan show if somebody is searching for India Today so type in India Today search the catalog and there it is the three issues which are available with us accessioned and as you can see there is the it's the item type is containing resource the icon is the periodicals icon if you look at the subscriptions it shows the three arrived ones and let's click on subscription details here so we are back again now the fourth one the number four is expected we just click on receive that's it that's how we receive a journal like before we type clean up the little bit and type in Jan 28 2019 set it as arrived because we received the copy and add the accession number to the holding there we go and click on save so we are done now and the fifth one is expected now let's look at how things are from the OPEC side of the game so we type in like before India today and there it is so we see that this is, uh, by default it shows that the subscription the OPAC this has arrived so if something is late we will know that it is late and that's basically how we handle subscriptions in Koha thank you for watching